Hey, what's up? I am messing with metahumans for fun. Trying to create Elon Musk for some reason. <laughs> metahumans is a thing from Epic Games for creation of realistic human models. And it does a pretty good job. You get one hour long sessions to mess around with it, so always refresh and get a new session. So it's not like you lose anything. Uh, it's currently early access, so they're giving them, um, I think they probably only have so much server time available at the moment. Ah, there we go. We're in. Hacker. Let's create something. What kind of person? Who should I try and recreate? What should I do? Give me an idea of a human face to try and create. Male, female, person, famous person, fictional character. This is the dude that I created earlier, which I quite like. I was going for a um, creepy vampire style dude. Okay, okay, we can try that. I had a feeling that something that you would try. Um, so, we can go to create a metahuman, and then we can just look at presets, and we can try find one that looks the most similar to him. Let's see if we can find one. I feel like that's... A good starting point it's it's not him but it's it's close I feel like if we blend it with that one it could it could get there um, yeah so let's let's use that as our base and then there we go we've got a human human so what we can do then is we can do a blend where we can say we want to take um, the next closest ones, like say we want the, I uh, feel like this guy has bits that feel closer and uh, let's see, do any of them have pronounced cheeks? White guys, they all look the same, right? Do we have to use three? Yes, it says we have to use three. So let's find one more that's somewhat Elonish. I don't know, none of them others are particularly like him. Maybe we'll just take this guy. We don't necessarily have to use it. So then what that lets you do is you can take, you see the layout over there. We've got the one dude on the top and our current one in the center and then one left and right. So we can look at maybe his uh, cheekbones over here and we can drag them to look more like the one on the other side, the one on the other side. They all look pretty similar. Um, if we don't like any of these, we can modify the features individually later. But this way we can just get something as a base that's very similar. All these white guys, there's barely any change when I go between all three of them. <laughs> uh, that's quite funny. We'll get more variation on the eyebrows over here. So I'm looking at an image of him to try and find something that feels similar. Um, it's a pretty difficult thing to get right. I've not actually tried to recreate another person yet, so uh, this is interesting. Um, his nose. Let's 
go with that. You can see a bit of variation here in the mouths. Okay, so now I'm gonna go into the move mode, which gives you like individual face features, and then you can sort of completely change them. So let's see. Um, it seems his ears are pretty flat. His nose sort of has more of a uh, upwards slant to it, I think. Um, come on. Okay, grab the eyebrows and mess with the face shape a little bit like that. So these are just big broad changes that you can make and then you can adjust each one of those individual things separately a little bit later. Um, I'm just trying to get something that Reasonably looks similar. Uh, ooh, uh, ooh. No. Chin. I think we had it pretty close already. Um, we might want to rotate to see if he looks like him from the side. Let's see if I can find an image of him as reference from the side. Uh, it's actually got a very short nose. His lips go up like that. He has a flat chin like that. And his ears are fairly far back on his head. A little bit smaller than that. Let's go with that. Doesn't look like him at all yet, but we'll get there. Uh, let's go with this. He's got quite pointy up here nostrils. There's a name for those, but I can't think of what that is. Um, doesn't really look like him yet, but we'll see. I don't know how we can get more bags under the eyes. I think that's something we'll get under the skin texture thing. Let's pull out the... Seeks a bit. He actually has a fairly strong jawline. Something like that. Um, this is difficult. Let's see. Okay, so let's try adjust some of the other things that might feel a little bit better. If we do something like change the texture, we can get very different looks because it basically uses completely different texturing on the face. So let's look for someone with bags on their eyes and a strong, um, I don't know what that is, but the line that goes from the nose to the edge of the mouth. So strong bags under the eyes and a little bit of a uh, dimply chin. So. Maybe if I zoom in and go to preview mode, we can get a better look. Because it completely changes uh, how the person looks.
they seem to have more of the older ones on the right hand side which makes sense it would be nice to have an option to paint the blend between these different things so really like I like how the eyes on one look but I want to use the bits of other things for other places because I like how the eyes on this one look but the rest of the face is too old. I th think that's the one I'm going to go with and then we can adjust stuff like the contrast. Roughness, which is going to give us shinier skin if we go this direction. Let's move the skin that way. I think we're going to turn off freckles. Yeah, he doesn't have freckles. Um, still doesn't look like him at all. What color is his eyes? None of the photos are really close up. I think they're slightly greeny blue, but it's hard to tell. I'm not actually going to look it up. Uh, yeah, we can have some fun with some creepy mouth. <laughs> not quite right or we can go for um, his natural look before he had his uh, hair implants this does not look like him at all um, that's probably the closest yeah that'll do from the side that looks Sort of like him yeah I think it is getting there slowly he's got something that might help is these uh, eyebrows if we can find one because he's got eyebrows that are really thick just in one spot and I don't think any of these options are like that um, I think the closest one was either that one or that one I think I think that one it's not really the same but it's the closest we can get how tall is he he's he's fairly tall isn't he um, I'm not actually sure how tall is Elon Musk he is 1.8 meters so that's uh, for any of you whose feet, I have no idea. That is 6'2". So that's, that, that's decently tall. Go back to the face. There's some keyboard shortcuts to switch between them. Let's go back to the sculpt and let's, you know, fine tune some of these details. Um, can we get the eyebrows to go up in that direction it's it's just it's not quite right and I, it's very hard to get this when you've only got limited options I think if you, you know, hand edited some of the textures, you could get even closer. Um, like he could be like stunt double in a movie, but for like actual detail, yeah, it's not. Maybe if we put some motion on there, it will feel more natural it's still it's still not him I 
Ring große. Hm, I don't know. Maybe it looks a little bit chubbier. Like, it's almost him, but it's not him. Like, if you can tell that I was going for him. Go back to the skin texture. Um, let's just mess around with that a little bit more. I feel like we can get a little bit closer with another one of these. Because they really completely changed the look of the face. Face is also a little bit too chubby. Um, looking at the jaw, it might be. There's one over here that looked pretty similar. That one. Good as I'm gonna get for a you know 15 minute little try. It's definitely not him. But uh, at a glance, let's see. I don't know. It's really powerful to make realistic looking humans. I think that's the best thing it's got it's not best for recreating other humans but for creating a unique human with this tool is really powerful i think if you spend a lot of time you could maybe get something that's closer to a uh, existing person but that's not really the aim of the thing it's to create um you know sorted human faces. But fun to mess with. Uh, I'm definitely going to play around with it when it gets more stuff going on. Uh, I think that shall be it for today. Mm, and then we'll be get back to the vampires tomorrow. See you then. And uh, thanks for joining in. I appreciate it. Yeah. All right. Good night. Bye-bye.